Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to pierce your nails, whether they're nails on a client or press-ons, so just keep watching. The drill I'm using to pierce the holes is this one by Melody Susie. I'm actually reviewing it. Um, right now on Amazon it is $45 and there's a coupon if you do wanna save some money. All right, so I just opened up this drill. It is cordless, it does charge up, so I think I'm gonna have to charge it a little bit. But here is where all of the controls are. So obviously the power button, and you just hold it down, and it pops on. I haven't put a bit in it, this is just what it came with. So right here, this controls the speed. So if you want it to go, and then you can see the dots right there. So I'm assuming it's like almost to the fullest. And then I just push the button and that's as fast as it goes. You can also hear how loud it is. It's not, well, how it sounds, I should say. I don't work with e-files that often, so I don't know if this is considered loud. This isn't bad to me. And then this right here is if you want it to spin um, towards your left or towards your right. That's always on an e-file. Today, we are gonna be putting piercings into press-ons. That's how I use my e-file. Um, I don't really use it to like I don't work with acrylic or hard gel when I do press-ons, so I don't really need to file that much. So we're going to go in order. Here are all the bits. So this one, this first one that you see is a mandrill, and it also you put the sanding band, so these bands, or this uh, sanding band will go on it. This one, this second one is called a small barrel and that's also for surface work i'm assuming that would like smooth the nail out this third one right here is called a needle head and you use it to polish the nail edge the fourth one is called a cone bit it's for under the nails, the cuticle, epinechium area, and sidewalls. Um, this one right here is called a rounded bit. It's for surface work for backfills, cutting and shortening the nail in an infill cuticle. So this last one is a safety bit. I use that for cuticle work. I'm not going to use any of them. The, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put piercings and nails with the drill. And I'm going to use a bit that didn't come with this. It's one of mine I personally use. But it is nice that this drill does come with them. So here we are back with our cordless e-file. I'm going to be using a bit like this to pierce my nails. I don't know the specific name because when I look it up, I see all types of different shapes. But all I did was put um, sharp pointy bit for e-file. And you'll see a lot come up and this is just the one I chose. And to put it on here, you see this dial right here? We're gonna twist it to the unlock right there. So we're gonna twist this over. So the arrow is pointing at the unlocked we're gonna pull this out this is what it came with and we're gonna put this one in that we want to use and then we're gonna just twist this back to where it's pointing to the locked and now it's locked in place all right here are some nails that i'm going to be piercing just for fun here they are um, and I'm gonna grab some piercings. So here are all the fun little piercings I have and I'm gonna do different ones on different fingers. All right, so this is the first finger or the first nail I used. I turned it on and I only had the speed halfway. And as I was pushing the bit in, it would get stuck and stop working. As you can see, 
and I'm going to explain that right now. So this is a review and I am going to be very honest with you guys. I am having a little trouble that I usually don't have. So if you guys just saw, I put the piercing in but watch it just stops right there and kind of gets stuck. Kind of not a fan of that. In comparison, I'm going to show you the Kiara Sky Drill. You can hear she's a lot quieter. She's also a lot more expensive. So, um, so that's the hole I just put in from the Melody Susie Drill. So now we're going to use the Kiara Sky one. And same thing. I'm going to just... I don't know where to put it. Let's see. We're going to go right here. Boom. Does not stop at all. Those are the two holes. And that's pretty much how I do holes for piercings. Look how perfect they are. I did continue using the Melody Susie drill because obviously I'm reviewing it. Um, you'll see in the next the next nail I pierced, I did just turn the speed up to as high as possible and it did work fine. For this first nail, I am just doing two double hoops. That's one of my favorite designs to do with piercings, mainly because um, when I do them with press-on nails, they can still lay flat in the box that they get shipped to the customer in. And you'll see with the other piercings, they don't lay flat. But yeah, this is just my go-to when I want to put some piercings or some hoops. Super easy and it's really cute. I found these gold hoops on Amazon and the pliers do come with them. All I do is take the set of pliers and twist the hoop open, put it through the hole and now I'm closing it. It's, it's really easy. Here I am again just twisting it to where it opens like that and then I just place it through the hole I made. Here is the finished look. I love it so much. Here I am at this point, it's still on medium and look it, I messed up right there, but it's okay, I just kept going. Um, it got stuck again. So at this point I was like, yeah, I'm gonna turn it up all the way and then from here on out, it worked perfectly. See, right through, no stopping. I also didn't redo the nail even though it left that mark because it's, I mean, I wasn't selling this set. It's not really that big of a deal. I got these piercings from Shein. I believe they're tongue piercings. And there is the second nail. Super cute. These are definitely more for clients. I wouldn't do big piercings like that on press-on nails because like I said before, they don't lay flat on the box you're selling them in. This third nail is something I used to do pretty often in sets I would sell. It's when I attach a dangle piercing. All I did was poke the hole through the top, uh, left or right side, it's whichever you prefer. And then you take one little gold hoop, stretch it out like I did the first time around. And then you're gonna put it through the nail. At that point, my camera died, so I didn't um, get to show you guys, but it was pretty easy. Once it's through the nail, I just get my piercing, hang it on the hoop, and close it up also this color with that piercing gave me an idea for a set i'm so excited to make it's just so pretty together 
I got these piercings from Nels Bling Supply. It was in my last haul. They're so, so, so cute. I'm assuming, I think they're like lip piercings or eye. I don't really know about like facial piercings except for nose. <laughs> Um, this one was just random. I just put three random holes. When it comes to these piercings, whether it's the tongue piercing or uh, this piercing, you just twist off the ball in case anyone was wondering how you take the tops off. These I just sped through because they were so tiny I was having some trouble with them and I didn't want to <laughs> leave up my struggle. And that is that nail finish with the three random little piercings I put. I believe this is the pinky, the last nail, and I was just like, I'm gonna just put this damn thing in the middle. So I made sure the hole was wide enough. That's one thing you have to do. So I kept going in and out to make sure it was spread because the, the piercing I'm using, this one is pretty big. And there she is all finished overall i would highly recommend this to anyone just starting with e-files they can be pretty pricey they can go up to like 300 dollars, and this one only being 45 on amazon so you can get it the next day or two i would definitely recommend it i would say you might have to keep it on the highest um speed to get through your nails but overall it's pretty easy to use and it's rechargeable so you don't have to deal with like an annoying cord in the way and all that. Here are all the finished piercings on the stands. I love how they look. They're super cute. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you learn how to put piercings through and maybe gave you an idea how to use an e-file. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow.